Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at a wireless charging receiver module designed to deliver Qi certified wireless charging to devices that do not natively support it out of the box. So you can see I've got the Moto X 2013 edition right here on the left, still arguably one of the better phones on the market, even at its newfound low, low pricing, I will say, a bargain, no question about it, but no Qi certified capability for the Moto X. And there are a lot of other phones like this on the market, and because it does not have a removable battery, no way to stick a receiver inside it either. So in this instance, what you'll be seeing with this uh, $10 receiver that I purchased from Amazon through a third-party vendor, I'll be including a link in the description, is essentially just going to connect to the micro USB port that you would traditionally charge your phone with. And basically, uh, you can, in this case, stow it on the back of the phone inside of a case it really won't create much of an impact I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it not much to show in the way of marketing here you can see just the product name as well as the output there are higher output models they are more expensive some are the same price some numbers aren't even accurate after all this is one of those things where uh, instead of spending the premium that vendors will charge in this case there is no way to charge a premium to get wireless charging for the Moto X, uh, but in phones like, let's say, the Note uh, series, the Note 4 that I've been covering, where you have to spend $70 in order to get uh, the S View flip cover with Qi certified capability, or go $35 for just the back cover that I just recently got, you can always pick up one of these. And they are universal, they work with pretty much any phone that charges via micro USB. Of course, uh, safety, you know, whether or not it's recommended by the vendor excuse me the manufacturer of the device of course it is not and you can see it's literally just a charging pad some of these have NFC capability some do not keep in mind uh, that is critical to know if you do need NFC capability make sure that the tag because that's literally what these are these are like Qi little receiver module tags will actually not break the NFC connection if you're inserting this behind a back door uh, of a phone like any of the Samsung phones. So essentially just going to plug this in and it is a very flat head design a cable that is intentional of course because they want this to keep the most minimal form factor and there you have it. It literally will just sit like this. I'll throw this in an OtterBox commuter case, put this on a charging base and then we will actually get a trickle charge. Now keep in mind you saw the rating on this is not very high. I believe it was 500. Uh, they do have models that are rated as, as high as 1,000. But again, whether or not that's actually accurate is another story altogether. And I will report back to you on how well this functions because at $10, you really can't go wrong if you're looking for an inexpensive way to add wireless charging to any phone, especially if you have a removable back cover where you can actually stow this and it won't be visible. And again, it's so thin, uh, it really... Uh, the only time I would say that it would be a pain or an issue, and it's not really a pain, is that if you're on the go and you knew, do need to charge in a situation where you do not have a Qi certified base, uh, which are also pretty inexpensive at this uh, stage of the game, you could just, I mean, obviously pull this out. You will have to, uh, because your micro USB port is always going to be occupied. But again, you can see very clearly, extraordinarily minimal uh, the cabling is just about as thin as you could ever get on a cable. Uh, so that they knew they had to get right in order to make this a feasible solution. In fact, again, this is designed to go under a back cover, but it will work. Uh, I know this because I have tested it already in the past uh, with this device, uh, uh, with a commuter otter box. Uh, you may have to find a sweet spot depending on the charger you're using, but it does work. In the event that you test this and it does not, reboot the phone with this still attached uh, and you shouldn't have a problem. Remember, it's a trickle charge, imperfect. Uh, in terms of quality control, that I'll experience and also update all of you on. But at $10, it's very inexpensive. These used to be even less. And you will find on eBay ones that are even priced lower. But I recommend sticking with uh, what I have purchased myself. And I'll, again, be including in the link uh, just for the sake of dealing with Amazon and uh, knowing that if you have a problem, you are covered. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.